I want to ask, how many of you here today have repeated something exactly the same one trillion times? I can tell you that each and every one of you does this without thinking. On average, two to three trillion times a day, your body will turn one cell into two through a process called mitosis. Now this process is absolutely critical for human beings to function, for our growth, our memory, our development. But importantly, it's also critical for cancer. Because fundamentally, cancer is a disease of too much proliferation, too much mitosis. So in order to better understand and treat cancer, we must first understand mitosis. And what we found is that mitosis is actually a process that's separated into a number of individual steps. However, it's the last step, the step that I study, mitotic exit, which is really critical to the whole process. This is the part of the cell cycle that the cell separates a single copy of the DNA into two new cells. And it does this with exquisite precision, which is required for normal cell division. But what happens if your cell carries a mutation just through exposure to the sun, or smoking, or a virus? That mutation too will be copied over into the new cell. And through mitosis, one mutant cell becomes two, two becomes four, four becomes eight, and quite quickly you begin to realize the magnitude of this problem. These mutant cells must be stopped. So to stop them, we've built a wall to division. At the very foundation of this wall is the protein that I study called Great Wall Kinase. My research shows that Great Wall Kinase is a master regulator of mitotic exit. And more than that, its function is to allow normal, happy, healthy cells to continue to proliferate and divide, but actively stops cells carrying mutations from exiting mitosis. This provides them with enough time to correct these mutations. Now the problem is, in cancer, this wall has collapsed. And so in spite of many mutations, cancer cells continue to divide and proliferate. I think this is because cancer has found a way to collapse the Great Wall by removing the foundations, by disrupting Great Wall kinase activity. And so the question I'm asking is how? How does cancer disrupt Great Wall kinase? And more importantly, if we turn Great Wall kinase back on within these cells, will they still continue to divide and proliferate? Answers to these questions will help us to understand why cancer continues to proliferate even in spite of a number of genetic mutations, ultimately with the goal of stopping cancer from crossing the Great Wall to mitosis. Thank you.